Hi, my name is Bob Saunders, and I'm the creator of the space adventure roguelike game Approaching Infinity. Today, I'm going to demonstrate some of the new features that are currently in the beta branch, uh, mainly the captain's log, and we'll start off by taking a look at the new past lives section. You've got your deaths over here and your victories over here. Being the developer, I needed to fake it. I have not won this many times. <laughs> I made these up, put them in a file, and, uh, well, there they are. But you can, you can sort by either most recent or uh, by the score. Just sort of keeps track of what you've done in the past and whether or not you're getting any better. Uh, as the game sees it, as long as you're having fun, you're getting better. I'm going to continue a game that my daughter Maggie started last night. Uh, ever since I quit my job and I'm working from home on my own project, she has been a little more interested in what I'm doing. You know, she's the reason that there are bunnies and you can pet them and gain health back. I saw that this planet was only 13% explored and I wondered why. Well, now I know why. It's a forest planet. So, this is a perfect opportunity. Now look here, it's a, it's a UHO planet, which means we can breathe. But uh, let's go over here and test out the new Captain's Log feature. I'm going to hit N to make a note, and that is UHO planet all trees don't bother. So now we've got this little N icon here on the map. Just, just a little tiny thing, but... Now, on the tooltip, you get log, stardate, UHO planet, all trees don't bother. So, now I know why that's not explored. Alright, here's a quest planet. What's the quest? Oh, it's another UHO. We are really lucking out here. Let's see. Oh, hey. Zion Blade, a Steam user, recommended that pressing these buttons twice like once opens a button, twice closes it, uh, or opens the window, and pushing it again closes it. Well, there you go. It works now. Enjoy. So I'm going to turn off tooltips because oh, there's first Cyclops. I think I got a good sword. Yeah, good sword, terrible pistol. They're really coming for me. This is a very tough monster to get a kill quest about in, in Sector 1 or 2. Fair amount of loot here. So let's leave another note. I don't, I don't know how to pluralize Cyclops. Cyclopians. <laughs> and... Scattered loot. All right, and that goes right into my captain's log. And here it keeps track of sector two, and then the X and Y location on the star map of where these notes were made. Um, for now, we'll just exit out of there, collect some more of this loot. We'll hit G to head straight back to the shuttle. And all right, here's something I think is fun. I don't know if anyone's noticed it yet. Um, where? All right, we're going to look over here. Um, so we are in a sector with pirates, and they have claimed and named all the planets in their language. Pirates have a language that they're, a, they're sort of a group of lots of different races, so they had to make up a language of their own so they could all communicate with each other. It's, uh, so all the planets here are named in the pirate's language. And you can see that, like I say, right over here, every time I mouse over a planet. Yar yar yo! That's that planet. Yar yar haibu! Taro! That's my pirate voice. Ha'ar yar ho! They don't get to name the shipwrecks. How about... Oh, well, it looks like... Maggie got that shipwreck. We'll go for this one. 
Oh, wow. I spelled anti wrong. Good job. Oh no, Mercs. Look at that. It's like the most expensive commodity there is. This is interesting. All right, 39 oxygen. We'll head back. Okay. So, here we are in the uh, warp screen. We still got information down here, useful. But now, whenever you're on a sector where you've been before and made notes about it, you can see that that just pops up right there. I'm not sure if that's going to be the uh, final, you know, the, the final way that's displayed. Maybe you have to mouse over it. I don't know. Uh, that's one of the reasons I need your help to tell me where that information should go to make it the most accessible and the least intrusive. Um, let's see if I can... I'm going to leave a note for Sector 3 even though I haven't been there yet. So yeah, you can do that. You can leave notes right from this screen. Um, you can hit L. If you, you can fill this page up. You can uh, scroll with the mouse wheel keys. Um, and you can also sort by sector. But anyway, let's just go there and find out. All right. Got a quest to collect space minerals. Ah, uh, Sylvia Booker House is ready for a promotion. <laughs> All right. What are you good at? Extra supplies, extra cargo, learning coach. That's a good one. And there's a pirate. Says he's friendly now. Potentially hostile. Pirates are always hostile. Let's see. I mean, not always. You can get friends with them. Get friendly with them. Openly hostile. Yep, he's seen me. And I've killed him. She is playing on easy. I don't expect much actual challenge. My, that's a lot. Okay, that is a lot of squither. Oh my. So let's make a note of it. Lots of squither and low value loot, probably. All I see is food on the Zelda Absolution. So, yeah, we're building up quite a captain's log here. Um, and let's sort by sector. I'm in this sector, that's sector three, that's everything here. This is all the log. I'm not going to bother filling it up right now. So, I mean, we can, you can, you can populate the map with as many notes as you want. Uh oh. Pirates have a beam that steals your loot. And this is a little bit spoilery, so you might want to plug your ears. But uh, if you drop your cargo and a pirate picks it up, they'll like, well, they'll pause to actually pick it up. And you can slow them down that way. All right. I got enough of that stuff. Let's go here and see what you have sell what I got new shield medical bay can finally restock the store what I want is something that lets me explore planets better 
such as water walkers, mountain climbers. Oxygen replenisher, that could be good. I mean, you know, stay on a planet longer, mountain climbers. That's what I wanted. And I can still afford another new shield. Hmm. More weapons, less devices. I think I'll put that in. It'll make me more survivable. And I will sell off this old stuff. It's nice to have devices, for sure. But I don't even have any installed right now. Take the mysterious package, package to the banker's station in Sector 4. Whatever. Okay. So. Let's find a planet. And I will demonstrate something else that's new. Maybe. Oh, am I taking damage? I'm taking environmental damage. Hmm. Oh, look. Piece of tech. And your bunny. I don't know if you've seen before, but the... Uh, tooltips are better now. They'll cover just about everything you see at any time and also let you know uh, I don't know how a bunny is considered potentially hostile. Is it? Uh, it's not even a big bad bunny. Maybe it's just scaly. Okay bunny. I don't believe it. Okay, this is a bunny planet. Nice to have a bunny planet. Man, it injured me and my other officer. Let's check that out for a second. Uh, a little over a hundred turns for both of us. It's fine. So, what I'm looking for is a place where I can get the monsters to follow me back to the shuttle. Because it has been suggested, and it totally makes sense, that uh, the shuttle should provide some cover uh, in combat. I mean, you're, you're hiding in this big metal piece of technology. It ought to do something for you. Ooh, hire a tactical officer. Yes, please. Sell this old cloaking device. So, um, I want to show that it's providing cover. There we go. Let's see if I can get these bugs to follow me back. All right, so I'm just going to wait and let them. There we go. Shuttle has taken damage. Um, you can read it right here. Shuttle has been damaged in the fighting. And I'm going to rest a couple times. See, it doesn't always happen, but you can see the shuttle is providing quite a lot of cover, but it's also uh, able to take damage. Uh, all right, I'm going to fight back. And we can take off now. And you can see right here that when the shuttle takes damage, you have to pay for it. And you pay for it in time. You can't just re-land on that planet. Uh, this is a brand new feature slash annoyance. So uh, some things about it might change. Certainly we could have a shuttle mechanic skill or device, something like that. So that's that. Um, I did make a new device called Fuel Tanks. That when you put it, you install it actually in the ship, not on the away team, so that you're not wasting that very precious one slot they have. Um, and what it does, it takes three turns off the uh, cooldown so that you can launch again much quicker. Uh, as it is when you land on a planet, um, when you land on a planet, it's seven turns until you can launch again. So if you go down in the middle of a, well, in the middle of a bunch of monsters, you're going to be sitting there waiting for that cooldown to run out. So uh, fuel tanks could really help with that. All right. Anything else we want to do? Got the captain's log. And, you know, once you, let's see, let's take a take a look at the banker station, see what the prices are. So there's a lot of applications for this captain's log. Um, let's see. Uh, to me, that looks like a real good price on nanomachines. So, whoops, eh, whatever. So right now, 
when you're in the lobby, you can make a captain's log note. Um, so you can use it for trading. You know, you find a good pr good place to buy or sell. Uh, you can use it, say, uh, you found a weapon you want that you can't afford right now. Make a note of it. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's a slot two weapon. I don't have one of those. That's excellent. All right. And oh, she's not even in permadeath. I was just about to suggest that we get ourselves killed. And. Uh, and get added to the high score list, but it won't even happen, sadly. Okay, this is a little later in the game. I have just found an engraver planet, and I want to... I want to clear that. So I just made a note of it in case something happens. And, oh look, Fire Axe Clue. Excellent. And I did manage to get the Mountain Walkers. Every time I step on a mountain, uh, it sort of increases your sight range. Because, you know, you're up high, you can see further. So anyway, you take a look at the... Uh, <laughs> you take a look at the terrain of this planet, and you may notice... Uh, a pattern so when you see a planet like this uh oh we open suits yes let's close those helmets right back up when you see a planet like this you're like hey what's going on here well eventually that question is going to be answered and it's probably not going to be exactly what you expected so I can see right now that this planet says 11 greater than 4 and uh, I, I will tell you that is from Futurama that is <laughs> the giant brains collecting all the knowledge in the universe and one of the pieces of knowledge they collect is 11 greater than 4. That's one of my favorite lines from that show. And we have fully revealed the planet. And upon revealing the surface of this planet, the way team is shocked into an unworldly comprehension of contemplation. What information were the engravers trying to convey? Do do do. Um, so now I look at my stats screen and I see right here, engraver knowledge, one out of how much? I don't know. We shall see. But that's another new feature. Let's go back to the shuttle. And I'll make a note that engraver planet is cleared. Okay. Back into space. So I'm going to take a look at my captain's log. I have two notes, both for the same planet. Sector 4, 24,5, and creator for planet not done yet, and planet is cleared. So I'm going to click here to delete the old note. Don't need two notes about the same planet, either being, you know, cleared or not cleared. We'll just save that one. Let it be done. I'm going to call it right there. This is a good, uh, good explanation of current features. Please do try the Captain's Log beta, though it's probably going to go live soon into the main branch. Um, I need, you know, feedback, ideas, stuff like that. Whatever you can think of to make it better. So thanks for watching.